Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. Today, I want to go ahead and show you all how I package my orders and get them shipped out to you all. I have a business, if you don't know, it's called DK Collection LLC. Period. Okay, we sell accessories. Um, currently, I only have jewelry in my inventory. I want to move on to other accessories and maybe one day move on to t shirts. But right now, I have bracelets, anklets, and necklaces on the site currently the link will be down below if you have a good memory the website is the k collection by kp .com. yes i do have my website through etsy i will make a whole nother video about how i feel about etsy and do i think it's a good website to sell from because i want to do a business series so all my ceos out there y'all already know when you have a business all you do is talk about your business all the time people get overwhelmed they don't want to hear it no more i'm just you know right now all i'm thinking about is my business it is my business and keeping it prospering because we're always thinking about what you can get next what's the is inventory correct orders coming in is your instagram popping you know all of that before we get started, I want to let y'all know that I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a gift card, a Visa gift card, and I'm giving away one item of free merch off the website if it is in stock. Um, to enter that, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page. Um, follow my personal page at call me underscore KP and also follow me on my business page, the dot K collection underscore. Um, check out the links in the description so i'm gonna just jump right into it y'all because if you wanted free stuff you would have already followed my page by now but you know you want to see this video oh okay i just really feel like if you have an online store presentation is super super important just because people cannot tangibly see your stuff in person before they buy it so at least once they get it you want to make sure that whatever you promise them is exactly what it looks like and i want to make sure you know i'm pushing the logo pushing advertisement so they will be coming back to shop with me again sweet i'm actually going to package a real order for y'all to give y'all an example so actually i had an order come in today shout out to melissa she ordered two rose gold bangles um, so personally y'all a lot of people sell their bangles at ran randomly like random charms but y'all i wanted to make it more you know personal about what people wanted so i actually put specifically what bracelets you want what charms have on it so i know exactly what they want so she ordered she ordered gucci and she ordered chanel Y'all, she actually ordered the last two rose gold bangles that was even on the website. So, I don't have to look through my inventory to get hers, honestly, because she had the last two. I will be doing a restock soon, so don't think that they're not coming back, y'all. I'm probably going to have a restock in the next two days. So, these are the two braces that she ordered. She ordered the Chanel number no. 5, and I have like a Gucci and Louis Vuitton combo one. Um, so I go ahead and put hers in my bag. So y'all, let me just spill the tea on these bags, sweetie. So how hers is gonna look when she get it. So basically I got these pink pouches from Amazon. They were like super, super cheap. I bought a hundred of these and I was praying that I would get a hundred orders so I can stop using these because I don't really care for them anymore, but they were really, really cheap. These are like the non scented or no odor bags you know this is the ones they put weed in y'all let's let's really be real okay i was thinking about that when i bought them but i got good use out of them but we're ready to switch it up honey but before i get into that let me talk about melissa's order so i go ahead and put hand write melissa's name on her package i put the date that she ordered I also put my logo on there. This is actually just a sticker. I ordered them from Avery.com. Check them out for all your labels, y'all. All y'all marketing. You can slap your label on everything, okay? Um, and I also just put like, thank you. And I put handmade hearts. And I also put my initials. So, it just seems really personal. It looked like I signed it. It looked like I care. You know, and I, and I do care. I do care. 
but I just wanted to make it seem like I care, you know. I put hard work and effort just into your packaging so you know your product is going to be good, sweetie. So then the inside, I just have like this little confetti. Y'all got this confetti from Dollar Tree, okay. I got these little gold stars at the bottom. I got that from Family Dollar. And I have my business card in there. I put my business card in each bag. I actually got my business cards made on a site called Awesome Merch. Um, they do a lot of custom things, but they do really, really cheap business cards. This was only $8. Now, let me let y'all know, though, shipping do take a while. So, I was shipping out packages with no business cards for a minute because it just took a minute. So, definitely think ahead if you're going to use that site. If you're trying to go cheap, just know shipping is going to take longer. But, quality. It is quality. I'm not going to cap to y'all. So, then, I have my black bubble mailers these are the six by ten bubble mailers these are also from amazon as well um i also want to stop using these as well because i just think they're so big but i bought a bubble mailer big enough to fit you know the bag i think these are five by nine six by ten you know you see the gist so i put these in the bag and also with each bag i put in a thank you card these thank you cards are also off of the Avery site. I actually created my business card and my thank you cards on Canva. That's where I designed it, or Canva, however you pronounce it. That's where I actually designed everything. Um, this is just pretty packaging advice for me because I don't have time to be doing all of that with each order. So, bag, it's already pre-made, okay? This one don't have Melissa's name because it ain't for Melissa, it's for whoever else. Whoever order next, you know, it has a sticker, it has a thank you, it has the hearts, it has all of that. And then it already has the confetti and the stuff already in it. And also the business card is already in there, y'all, okay? So all I do is put your products in the bag. Okay? And each bubble mailer, I already had the thank you card in there. So it's ready to go, honey. So once you have your package ready to go, you put it on a scale y'all i got this scale from my parents kitchen okay they was not using it so i was like guess i'm gonna use it to weigh my packages i only i can't even tell you where to get this from get it cheap okay because it ain't that big of a deal when you go ship your order y'all they literally are just going off of like round numbers so this package is actually 1.65 ounces but on the package it's gonna say two ounces so sometimes i just estimate sometimes i weigh you know so this package is ready i will put a shipping label on the front i'm not doing that this video but if y'all want to see a video like that let me know i love those i love how those have been selling people have loved the way they are but I wanted to bump it up some more. So if you want to bump it up some more to start off, you can do that. But you want to make sure that your shipping cost is not taken away from your sales. Okay, because if your shipping stuff, just your bubble mailers, your packaging and all of that is taking up too much of your cost, dial it back. These are the new bubble mailers you like them don't you i do too so these are actually only the six by six and a half bubble mailers which i think are a lot better because my merch is not that big okay i'm not selling bundles i'm not selling cds i am selling little bitty bracelets okay so i wanted to make my packages smaller i would have went even smaller than this but my thank you cards are pretty big okay and that's the only size you can make them um for postcards hey y'all so these are the new packaging that i'm about to put out i haven't sold any of these yet but this is it so i have these new africa pendant necklaces um if you want to go shop go ahead and shop but let me spill the tea so i went ahead on amazon and i bought display cards you can do earrings necklaces you can probably fit a bracelet in there but i have other ones for that so i have the display cards i actually bought labels from avery as well so it has the brand name on the display card mm -hmm. you like that don't you on the back i did just put y'all i just taped the necklace on the back just one little strip of tape 
don't act like department stores don't be using tape because they do so i just put a little tape on the back so it's not dangling down into the bag and then i also have my business card in there hmm, marketing also y'all this was the cutest idea that i thought of so I added a tag on there with the logo because you know I don't I no longer have the stickers I can't put stickers on these bags so I have my logo still present on there with a tag and I actually kept the back blank you know it's gonna be on the back your name <laughs> I'm gonna put your name on here as well as the date that you want your stuff just like I was doing before it's still personal but it's very sleek very put together i got these little um i got the display card i got the little baggies little drawstring sheer bags i got these from amazon you know amazon is y'all friend you know stop playing with them and you can see if you compare sizes you know this is like really cute you know it's giving cute and it's that new new <laughs> also tip 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 y'all make sure that the package whatever bubble metals you get because i know somebody's going to try to go as small as they can go it sound really don't matter i'm gonna see what the shipping costs do it do it matter i don't think they do so make sure that your shipping label is gonna fit on your bubble mailer okay don't go too small and then you can't fit your label on there and it's because you usps will get your stuff lost that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to get with it or get gone, sweetie. Um, Definitely keep up with my website, y'all. I'm constantly trying to add new stuff, stuff that I would like, something that I think y'all would like. So please stay tuned. Um, if it's something that's ever sold out, definitely y'all, it will be back. You will get the fastest updates from my Instagram. So definitely follow the Instagram page. Everything will be linked down in the description below. I got a secret. My birthday ready come up. My birthday coming up. My birthday coming up. I'm probably gonna do a sale on my birthday. Hmm. Heard it here first. All right, y'all. Let me let y'all go. I do not feel like editing this, child. Look at, look, look at the. Jesus. They're all gonna roast me. Oh my God. They're gonna talk about me so bad. Uh, my wig is slipping back. Like way back. Child. I was gonna come on here with my do rag. This is gonna be a ghetto, ghetto, ghetto business series. Jesus. I will see you guys in the next one. Do sis.